Hi, my name is Joe Madrid and this is Crash Course World Wonders. Today we will be talking about the Church of Hagia Sophia. We will be talking about its history, how it was constructed, and how its purpose changed over time. Look at this thing. This took countless amount of hours and countless amount of hot glue. Imagine trying to build this in a real life scale. The Hagia Sophia, literally meaning Holy Wisdom, was built in Constantinople, present-day Istanbul, under the reign of Emperor Justinian in the 6th century BCE. Before the current day Hagia Sophia was built, two churches came before it. The first church was constructed by Emperor Constantius and was not originally called Hagia Sophia, but the Magalai Iglesia. The first church and the churches preceding it follow a basilica style. A basilica is a building that is usually a Christian church that follows a particular architectural style. The church was covered with a wooden roof and the walls may have been made out of stone, but there is no record of this. Sadly, this church was burnt down in a public riot in 404 CE. The burnt down church was later rebuilt by Emperor Theodosius II in 415 CE. The church was almost exclusively made out of stone and marble. However, the church suffered the same fate as its predecessor and was burnt down in the Negro revolts in 512 CE. Not only did the Negro revolts end up with the destruction of the church, but the death and destruction throughout Constantinople. Emperor Justinian was the ruling emperor at this time and he immediately ordered the reconstruction of the Hagia Sophia. This time, he planned for the church to be nothing the world has seen before. To complete this grand project, he assigned the best architects at the time, Anthemis of Trellis and Isidore of Milus, to complete this project. Through all his hasty efforts, he was able to complete this project in less than six years. The construction of the Hagia Sophia required lots of different architectural and mathematical techniques to perfect. The church took the style of a central basilica and is comprised of many semi-domes and arches. The Hagia Sophia is mostly built out of brick, with the exception being the foundation was built with limestone. The domes, however, led to structural problems. For instance, the first dome collapsed in 558 CE and was later rebuilt to a smaller scale in 562 CE. Even with all their efforts to make the central dome light, the central dome still required the support of four arches. Overall, the main structure is still intact to this day, but earthquakes over time have taken its toll on the church. The structure and design of the Hagia Sophia was truly a sight to behold, but the inside showed a work of art. The inside unveiled beautiful mosaics and an almost heaven-like experience with the domes above resembling the heaven. Over time, images of different emperors, Christ, and imperial families were added to the Hagia Sophia. The Hagia Sophia was used as a church, but since it was the Empire Church, emperors were also crowned here. Between 1204 and 1261 CE, the Latins took hold of Istanbul during the Holy Crusades. When the city was reconquered, the Hagia Sophia was in poor condition when they returned to the church. 1453 was a long time after the Hagia Sophia was originally built, and since the Byzantine Empire was in decline, the church was not very well maintained. However, that did not stop the Ottomans when they converted the church into a mosque when they took control of the city. The Ottomans did not change the general structure of the Hagia Sophia, but they did add minarets and buttresses. A, fam a famous architect, Sinan, also restored the Hagia Sophia to its former glory. In 1937 CE, the Turkey government secularized the Hagia Sophia, meaning they separated its religious connections and they then made it into a museum which anyone here can visit to this day. No, oh, it's time for the open letter, but we don't have a secret compartment, so we're going to stay here. This is an open letter to the Emperor. Dear Emperor Justinian, thank you for creating one of the greatest churches ever built to this day. Your church was the greatest and the largest at 180 feet and 240 feet in width before St. Peter's Cathedral was built in 1626 CE. Your, your church stood the test of time and it was a former relic of the Byzantine Empire's former glory. The beautiful mosaics that were made for your church are still there to this day and they help give us a glimpse into the past. The Hagia Sophia is truly an architectural and mathematical feat and proves the brilliance of your former empire. The Church of Hagia Sophia is continuously restored to this day for the love of your church. 
hopefully future generations will be able to witness and experience the magnificence of your church. Best regards, Jerome Madrid. Thank you for watching class. I'll see you next time.